Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1031 hours on Wednesday, July 15th, 2015. Batman's got a frame. You, you. That seems kind of high. It'll work good. Just seems kind of high. That's taller than the old ones were, wasn't it? 42 inches right on. Just seems high. It's, it's definitely tall. It's upside like, down? You get it around. No, it's not upside down. This is the top rail. Mm. Okay. Those can be easily moved to the side because obviously I'm going to have to take this apart. Put them on the back side. Yeah. The stairway side. Right. That's, that's what it's going to do. Shall we go check it in position? Sure, we can do that. All right. Let's go take a look at it. Here, you can take the front take the back. Pick it up, Greg. You want to pick up the joint? At the that's joint? The, I don't want to pick it up at the end? Weak, that's the weak point. The oh. Okay. It's such a comfortable, easy thing to carry. Hey, Batman. Yeah. How are we going to make it around that corner? Yeah. This ain't going to happen. It's 18 feet long, Batman. Yeah. It's 18 feet, Batman. Yeah, so is that table. Ah. This sucks. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I got, I have a limited amount of up. Okay. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? We're gonna go through the window. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna die. Gently. Gently. I'm going. I'm going. Alright, you should be able to make it. Turn. I'm turning. Uh, I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. That's so much better. Okay. That's what that's Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Hey Jerry! Oh, where is mom? <laughs> Jerry's not here. Buddy. Okay, here, you take this. Jerry's not here. Alright, we're going up and over? Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's way easier with two hands. How tall is that? 42. Cool. That's good. Past the staircase a little bit more than a foot. Yeah. That's great. Alright. Now we gotta measure it out for our panels. Oh. Oh. Sick them! Sick them! Alright, so the panels are all exactly the same? No. Huh? No. What do you mean no? Because you've made me put these bars on the end instead of the inside. Oh, so the outer two panels are. Alright, um... So it'll be symmetrical stuff. So. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's get really, really, really accurate measurements for the panels. So, cool. That's, that's not going to stay there. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's move... Yeah, it, it'll... Yeah, well, we'll get rid of the wobbly. That It's because of the wobbly that I wanted to do a middle... Mount. But right. yeah, once it's anchored at the end and down the side, that'll help a lot. And then, if it's one, still really well, we'll do one. Yeah. Alright. We'll be back. All right, so what else do we need? Is that stuff in stock or stuff we got to get? I'm going to have to get the hangers. Do you want me to pull this till it stops? 
if it's if if you can pull it off, you pull it off. Oh, don't do that. You'll peel off the whole wall. Well, that's kind of what I was here, trying to watch. ask. Here, watch. Here, you drive. There's there's a trick to this. Wow, that's like a hundred layers of old paint. Yeah. Yep. Wow. This needed more than just hoping for the best. Yeah. Yeah, that that really is that's that's a full sixteenth inch of paint. It really is. So you want me to paint? No, you still got me. Wow, candy! There's gonna be more paint. It was really, really loose right there. There we go. That's what I wanted. Find a spot where it starts to grab. Because if it didn't grab somewhere, it'd just fall off the wall. But this was uh, an improperly painted wall originally, like a couple of generations before us. Can I paint it now? Yeah. See how it's all dusty? Yeah. That's what happens when you don't clean the wall properly. So um, I'm grab a paper towel. Yeah. You wanna you wanna clean that off really good. Um, just a very slightly damp paper towel. Hmm. We'll be back. That's sexy. Alright guys, we're at my very favorite place in the world, Central Iron and Steel, where we get to examine giant pieces of aluminum diamond plate. This is uh, what we're going to make our thing out of. This is, this is 16? Yep. Yeah, it looks thinner than that piece you showed me. Right, yeah, when you get bigger they look thinner, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, Batman. Still yeah. going to be heavy enough? What do you, you, you think this is going to be heavy enough? What's your opinion? What's the next thing you got? Eight inch, double this. Maybe a piece over there you can play with. What's the difference in price? Uh, two fifty a sheet instead of one forty. Uh, I guess I lied. Um, the thin stuff will work, all right. We'll make it work. Okay. Doesn't allow a lot for engraving on the back, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, this is not cheap stuff. Yeah. Well, last time I brought Padno stuff in here, they about killed me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, that's dropping. There you go.
Daddy, I want one. Yeah, tell me about it. So the back stop doesn't really work with the thin stuff, does it? No, uh, well, it goes back three foot. So oh, okay. Yeah. Keep them. There's there's a couple back there that are useful. Oh, no, oh. you want to keep big drop or what? It's like a fifty dollar difference. What do you think? I know. Okay. We'll use it. Yeah, we'll use it. Why? Does it change how you cut it? Yeah. Does it change how you cut it or something?
That is such a supremely badass machine. Is that all you need? Uh, we got a couple pieces of this, and uh, I'm really debating whether or not I should get a length of that two inch in there. What are you thinking for making that bad? Yeah. I'm thinking for making the holders and get the strap for KC. Whenever you're ready, you evaporate the hole back here. All right. I'm going to stick these back. All right. Stick with what we got. Wrap it up. Let's go. You want those done or are you going to take them No, we're going to take them whole. We're going to turn them into handrails for staircases. Okay. So coming off your credit or whatever? No. No, I'm we're, sure. we're, we're, we're paying for this. This, this is, yeah, this is, this is, this is lab stuff. Tax or no? Uh, no tax. Geek group? Geek group, no tax. Okay. Why don't you want to load her up and load your smoker? Or All right. We'll load it Batman, make sure to get the little bits and pieces. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey, you got the card, right? Yeah, I got the card. Alright. It's shiny. <laughs> I got a good idea for that piece. Yeah? Yeah. What's your idea? Well, I'm thinking about building a house sometime soon. I think that'd be a really good counter backsplash. Too, uh... So where are you going to put that? Oh, okay. I'm going to go to the lab before I go to Gucci's. That's probably a good idea. Is that traffic? Hang on, hang on. Inside. There you go. Oh, that'll be fine. Perfect. It's beautiful. Hey, Batman. Hang on a second. Slide him a little more forward. Come ahead about three feet. Keep going, keep going. That's good. Now you're about even with the front bumper. <laughs> you just got a whole little system ready in there, don't just, you? Oh, foot past the bumper, you gotta put it. Yep, yep. It's not like I have to ever do that once in a while. Yeah, it never happens. Never, never. a blue table with a trim roller. But you're... Just Improvise, adapt, and overcome? Yes, exactly. Didn't have a holder for it? Make do with what we have. Okay. Let's <laughs> painted this whole table with this guy. Yeah? I'd have painted the whole thing with a full-size roller. Like, not even on the trim series. I'd have just used a regular wall roller. But if that makes you happy, yeah. I, just, I just want you to be happy. It works. That's the kind of solution for somebody who's paid by the hour. True. <laughs> I'm not paid by the hour, though. Well, oh, they're looking nice. You got some goopy stuff right here. Okay, 
got an idea when you're done filming. Yeah? It doesn't oh. have to be on video, though. It's like a secret idea. We'll be back after the secret idea. <laughs> Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden, and welcome to the Geek Group. To start off today's viewer mail for Wednesday, 7-15-2015, I would like to thank Dainichi. There is no note. Thank you, sir. We've got toilet paper and paper towels, which is awesome. The continuing theme of Denny T. Love. This is for Stephen Lemay. This is for Broccoli. It's probably parts for the PTZ camera project that will not end. By the time he's done, he's going to get a Nobel Prize in it. Four amp, 1,000 volt Vichy bridge rectifiers. Okay. Some transformers, lytics, KO, Koa Sphere current sense resistors. I wonder what a current sense resistor is. Huh. All right, we'll ask Ed about these when he wanders back. Ed is out slinging pizzas at the moment at his day job. He'll be back. This is from Mum. Now that is an interesting combination. So we've got secure flux wrap, waterproof tape, hurt free wrap, some band-aids, and sour punch straws. Holy cow. In fact, we have we have a few of them. You can punch them into the oranges that we just you got. Like these? Oh, yes. these are a thing? Yes. Just for radio. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you have, hey, boys, you have to share. Oh! Ah, oh. uh, see, you got a second chance. Wow. He stole your first opportunity. Your second one crashed to the ground. Are they all the same? Yes. Yeah. Strawberry? Here, ready? Oh, he'll do it. All right, cool. You can throw more. That's fine. No! You'll get the diabetes. I can eat lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Mr. Bellatini. Wait, from or four? It's four. four. It's from Colin Anderson from Mattapoiset, Massachusetts. Saying Massachusetts was redundant. There's nowhere else in the nation that has town names like that. Oh, I thought it was a dinosaur, but it's actually three dinosaurs. I bet that's supposed to be a Megalosaurus. I bet that's supposed to be a Triceratops. And I bet that's supposed to be a Spinosaurus. It's actually identical to a Spinosaurus we had. What's the, the holes? Oh, it's an Allosaurus, apparently. What's the hole? Just holes? There's a it's hole. He's got like an ear. <laughs> yeah, it's a tear. Do you have ears? <laughs> you have ears. Hi. I have ears. Okay. I don't know! We can do a special thing with the Triceratops, considering. Well, I, I, I'm guessing that he sent three, just in case we had done one of them already. I don't know. This looks more like a painting of a uh, Megalosaurus from the 19th century, so I'm inclined to say that it's not an Allosaurus. Unless it says Allosaurus on it. But thank you. This one has a prehensile tail. Calm. Crappy joke he left. I had another joke, but he took off with the two that they was a sight gag. You sure you wow, English. You sure know that you're getting old when you give yourself a mohawk to make your yourself feel young. That one intern kid. 
It's the uh, guy who works in chemistry a lot. Curly hair. On the large side. Neckbeard? Maybe. That's Maverick. Well, he's got a new job. Can't write some essays. I'm not old, I'm just youthfully challenged. Just because I'm having a midlife crisis haircut. Very good. Cool. Some days you step in it, some days you don't. These are like mom modes. I'm not that old. I'm old enough to be his dad. I am your father. Thank you, Maverick. From At least I think these are from Maverick. Who will totally not be having latrine duty for the rest of the year. Not at all. That's it. That's it for viewer. And this one goes on the wall. Alright, thank you guys. A very surreal viewer mail today. Eclectic. Eclectic. You guys have fun. We'll be back after lunch. Thank you. Vacuum them again. Okay. We didn't we didn't get out as much as we needed to. Uh, Thought I did. I failed.
That's going to be sexy. How you like it? Good. Is this better? There's going to be a, a special feature here. A newel post. Well, there's there's your newel word for the day. You get to learn what a newel post is. If you ever go down a staircase and at the bottom there's the big yep. thing, that's a newel post. Okay. Hey, Chris, we're going to make something custom. Well, don't go the same route you went to the Huh? Don't go the same route you went to Groucho with a newel post. Don't. Oh, no, we're not okay. doing that for you. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to let you, Moose, and Bellatini get together and make a 3D model of my head, and we'll fit it to a two inch base. No, 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 It'll no. Be no, a little no. head. Like An iron fist. Mike, yeah, I can be cool with that. No. Little iron fist. No. 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 You're no fun. Okay. I know, that's my job. Get that great See, I think it was we could make the bottom thread and we could have different ones for different events. Like no, we could I like have a Tesla that. one. I like that. I thought you were going to say a dinosaur head. When you said no. we, could have, we could have a dinosaur head here. Just all kinds of fun stuff. I love the idea of threading that and we can swap. Various different newel posts. Yes. It's, uh, uh, there we go. Just great a really nice thread. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I am totally okay with that with people sending in their own newel post idea. It's got to fit a two inch square. This is, it's two by two for the base. And then we do one at the end or can we put more than one on? No, just one at the end. But it's changeable. It would be really cute if there were a little bit of that. That's a little too much. I'm going to go. Well, you already have a hole in every one of these beams. Okay, Chris. Yeah. There's more people on the wall. Anybody we like? That's up to you. Oh, okay. Wait, wait till he gets him started, then you kick him in the position. Yeah, that's that's definitely better. I like it. I'm not gonna tighten this one down so I'm gonna take it out so we can take the top wheel off. Okay. By having these two in give me my placement. Alright, here's Sir Enemy, a lag screw with a watcher. We'll put it in, we'll bolt, last year, yep. we'll bolt the bottom down, we'll put it together, we'll see how it fits. If it's... Well, once it's bolted in, it's staying right there. Right? Yeah, but then, yeah, then, we'll, it. Then, then we'll see about doing the, the vertical supports. Just put them in each hole. Except one of them won't go in because it's right on the middle slug from the old crew. We had to skip one? Yeah, this one? We had to skip one. Mm -hmm. this one? I have no idea. I don't remember. It's not that one. It, hang on. Why isn't that going in? I might have to do a little bit. Don't worry about it. Put a hole in each one. Yeah. I think it's, it's this one right here. Yeah, it's that one.
that going to stop the whole thing from warping? Huh? Because right now... It... It'll be all right when it's done. Okay. So why are we not using like the impact driver to set these in? I've had bad luck with the impact driver these anchors. Okay. It's lead on steel. Okay. Next time we strip out lead. Alright. Or the concrete. Follow me. Sure. So we got yellow, red, good blue, a chroma key green, and purple for mum. Well, pur purple is a color that we use quite heavily. Pur purple for mum. Yeah, you know whose table is the red table? Whose? Massive H. Yeah. He, he likes red and he donated $120. Oh, well, done. Actually, that's also ended up being uh, that's the Harris table. Harris table. Oh, this is the one with the dent in it, right there. You can see the big dent. Harris did that, the big dent right there. That was Harris. Did exactly what I told him not to do. So that's what happens when you don't listen to me. The whole world goes to hell. See, that's the thing you got to realize, Internet. I'm never wrong, and I never lie. So we need two more of these in the first batch. We do? They have to be made in batches of seven. Why? Because they're hexagons. I'll let you figure out why, but you need seven to put them all together. We made... Oh, you want to make Yeah. Because we have five in the lobby right now. Hexagon. You, you got to make oh, seven. Well, if you want to put them all together in a perfect symmetrical pattern, then you need seven of them. Well, I can't get the legs in town, so... Well, I'm going to I like the legs, so... Just like one drop in a... In a, like a test tube or something. Soluble oil. So it's a solution and emulsion. I don't understand the difference. It, there's surfactants and certain other chemicals in there that help the oil stay in suspension. I guess that's a better way to say it than, than solution. high-tech system. If it were lower tech, you probably couldn't do that. <laughs> you could totally Actually, run the Actually, Haas has come out with a that. very high-tech system. They have an automatic coolant refill system. That yeah? They just introduced. It's you just, really you cool. just put a bucket of good stuff in and tell the it the ratio. And tell it the ratio and it automatically fills I like the tank that. When, it drops, when it drops to a certain level.
love speed spinners. No. We try them over there. I think I don't. Yeah, they're not. So how big are you going to make the cutouts? One inch and a quarter by 14 16. Which is exact, which is why I'm making little jigs, and I can just place it. I have the measurements where the side of each washer is. Okay. Put the jig on that part, draw the square, and I can knock it out. Okay. I'm trying to keep it consistent and gritty. Caterpillar! But he's doubled in size since I was here last. Caterpillar! Where's he been? On my desk. Because I had milkweed, a milkweed plant on there. Yeah. That's a monarch. That's okay. the only thing they eat. Then you should milkweed. let him keep eating the milkweed on your desk. Well, he ate it all. All of it? Yeah. Okay. You should go find another one. You well, can't just put him outside. you got to give him a milkweed plant. I'm going to put him out on the milkweed in the bed. We have some? Okay. A ton. I'm on it. But no, I had that, and then a couple weeks later, I looked and there was a caterpillar. Caterpillar! Where's my... Where the hell's my sunglasses? Huh. Uh, where the hell's my sunglasses? Uh. Where the hell are my sunglasses? Those aren't mine, those are Batman's. Never mind. Yeah. Milkweed is poisonous to everything except for monarch butterflies and caterpillars. Okay. Do you know why they call it milkweed? Yeah, because you squeeze it and it schmutz comes out. Yeah. But he's going to start eating in a second. So there was nothing left of that plant on my desk. Oh, yep. Yeah. That thing is. It was half the size when I was in three days ago. I was listening to this really cool report on NPR, this guy was talking about butterflies and moths, and when they go through their metamorphosis process, their guts and everything inside that cocoon or chrysalis just becomes mush. And then they, the cells just rebuild themselves from there. They're not exactly sure how still, but they rebuild themselves, but they've discovered that they still retain memory from when they were a caterpillar okay. to when they turn into a butterfly. I think that's really neat. 
That's a happy caterpillar. That is a happy caterpillar. Cool. He can be free. really tight and we got to clip the bottom corners off because of the, uh, the bolts of the, uh, hitting the head of the bolt on the bottom. Which is going to be when I go to tighten these ones, I'm also going to need to I had that problem. They're, They're hitting, the how can they hit these bolts? On the bottom, it's hitting them. This one not going from this side, this side of this. Wide, How do you so. figure? What do you mean? How do I figure? It, it, it's, it's easy. Oh, the heads of the bolts stick out a tiny bit. Okay, I one. see. I see. This one's hitting it. All right, so we just gotta try to trim corners. a little corner. All right. So, like, measure in a half inch and trim them off at 45. Mark, push you up, bring it over and I'll just snip a little bit off the tin snips. You could probably do it in the shear. I'm pretty sure the diamond plates would fill this year. Possibly. That one definitely, that one's, that, that one's the closest one he, he kept to it. Yeah, the one's one that varies. The other ones that they cut was a plus or minus.
this thing and you can all the corners, right? Pretty much. Certainly beats a couple tables and traffic cones. No idea. We got a big VIP tour thing tomorrow. Say if it's at noon, then good. I give you plenty of time to clean up. I double check the I will before I go. Yeah, because it's like, uh, one is
All right, put the three little pieces in. Hmm? Put the three spacers in. That's sexy. There, it's rigid, it's done. What? It won't rattle for long. We gotta get through the thing tomorrow and then we'll take the panels out and do the back end very Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll cock it. And once we cock it, it'll be dead silent. We had the same problem when we built my headboard. Layer of silicone cock and they'll seal up nice and be totally silent and that just makes a thuddy sound. Yeah, we made it to bed. Night lady's like, we gotta fix this right now. Yeah, because every time you'd like just roll or move in the slightest. Um, that came out nice though. That's. A lot of. I'm proud of that. That's a good idea. Don't do that. You know what supports this in the end? The railing that goes with that. Yeah, that's the end support. We'll put a middle one still, but the end support. So we put the actual railing yeah. up and we'll be making that in the next week or so. We'll start on the handrails. Because we got the stock for it, we just gotta do the off time. Alright, let's clean up our mess. And throw a throw a cap on the yeah, cast right. So there's the handrail. That's nice. And now we can move these tables somewhere else. Well they're supposed to be in the lobby for the 3D printing where an actual workspace would be. Alright. Alright Ed, this is the maiden flight of the P-51. This is... This is up, down is down, left to right. That way. Yep, that looks right. No landing gear, so we have to bring it here to land on grass. It's small, we could probably fly it in a church parking lot by its size, but by its speed, that I'm, I've, I've never flown it, but I'm guessing this is an ungodly fast airplane. Look at the pitch of the prop. This thing goes crazy fast. So, I don't think we could land it in the church parking lot. Now let's see if we can fly it. Oh, shit. Oh, she needs a little trim. See how she glides. Like a rock. Okay. <laughs> she wants to roll. 
I'm not doing any tricks. This is just me trying to get it in turn. Now I'm doing tricks. I took it way up high to trim it. It's down here. That's better. He still wants to climb really bad. He still wants to roll. As it should. Successful made. <laughs> now POV. <laughs> oh God! <no. laughs> Just gave it a fair bit of trim, and I want to give it. Slow 
it down, it flies like a dog. You fly it fast and crazy truck. It just wants to go. It really does. I had a curl like that. How do we hang out a prop? Find like a rocket. I didn't want to run out of field. <laughs> That's a good plane. I like it. Completely dumb. No S3X, no safe, no no nothing. Just a really light, really small plane. She gets toasted. Let's see if I can pull the battery out. You gotta cram the battery up in it. Runs on a three cell 450. And uh, goes like a rate date. Let's go grab our other battery. So initial thoughts of the uh, are uh, fast, fun, tight. It takes a lot of trim. But once you get it where it wants to be, it's definitely not bad. Takes a big space. Doesn't really care about wind all that much. At least not this level of wind. Left, right is right, throttle's armed. It doesn't sound electric, it sounds kind of like a gas-powered airplane. I don't know if that was on purpose or I just got something there that rattled. Might have something to do with the intense pitch of the blades. Just the way they're chopping the air. This is a plane that will punish you for a stupid mistake. 
very quickly. As long as it's up there in the thing, it's cool. Once it gets down below the boundary layer, just ah, fuck it. <laughs> and it drops. And in a field of grass, you found, found the running track. I found one hard thing to land on, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That, that was bad. It's hard to take off because you got a hand launch. Ah, I took a chunk away off it. Well, we're done flying for the day, but that's totally easily fixable. That's a beautiful break. Yeah, that'll be fine. But that does conclude our flying for the day. So we maidened it. She's good. A little tricky to launch, but not too bad. You really got to pay attention to it, though, because the minute you don't, you break a wing off. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's just the tip. Yeah, that'll Fine. All right, so there you have it. Made in the P-51, this is the Cripes Almighty Third. So, yeah, it's a fun plane. It's just a little inexpensive rump and stump and beat the shit out of the plane. I like it. All right, so we're back at the lab and I'm looking for Exacto knife. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to use some extra thick glue because I don't need. I don't want gap filling. I've got a really perfect thing there, and it's a beautiful break. So. All I need is extra thick and we're fine. You want thin for when you want to run, you know, if all you have is a surface crack. But this is a beautiful, perfect break. You can see when you put them together, the pieces all just line up perfectly and there's no problems. So. I need a bigger hole. Oh, there's a hole there. This is just extra thick. Focus on the plane, not his shirt. A little drop of glue here on the aileron. Put a cap on. Set it down. Line it up just so.
Now we put glue on the entire wing surface, or the, the wing itself, and the aileron, but not the hinge in between. Because we want the wing to be very, very solid. We want the aileron connection to be very, very solid. We do not want any shenanigans with the hinge. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Then you glue your thumb to the aircraft just a little bit. Just a touch of kicker, which will activate a couple spots, which will hold it rigid. And now we're fine. That's fixed, and it would be fine to fly tomorrow. I could kick the hell out of it and have it in the air in five minutes, but there's times for that. This is not one of those times. It's just, just happy, let it cook, and she's cool. As long as nobody disturbs the airplane overnight, there won't be any problems at all. Should fly great tomorrow. So, cool. That's the maiden of the P-51. And that's today's Captain's Blog. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching, doing that thing that you do, and we'll see you tomorrow. See ya.